Okay, this is SuperSport again. For those of you using Windows Vista or Windows 7, um, this is a workaround so you can make MIDI function. Um, first thing you need to do is download the attachment that I've added to the post. This one here. I'm going to extract the file. I'm doing this demonstration on Windows 7. Okay, so here's our driver. Um, now you go in. Let's see, first thing, let's go ahead and open up Windows Mobile Device Center. Change our connection settings. Uncheck Allow USB Connections. Go ahead and say yes on the prompt. Close that window. Now plug in your phone. When your phone connects, we're going to go to the uh, management console. So right mouse click on the computer. Go to manage. Go to device manager. And we're looking for the mobile devices. Double click to open that. Double click to open the USB sync. Go to the driver. And we're going to update our driver. Browse the computer for the software. We want to pick from a list of devices on our computer. Say have disk. Now browse to where you've downloaded that file and extracted it to. In my case, I put it on the desktop. Here's the folder. Once you see these two files here, just say open. OK. Here's the driver we want to install. What this is, it's the driver for Windows XP. If you install it on Windows Vista and Windows 7, it allows your phone to connect as if it was Windows XP. Say next. Once the driver is complete, go ahead and close it. Close this window. Close the device manager. Okay, now at this point, if your phone is connected and you've updated your driver correctly, you should be able to start MIDI and you should see your USB port. Now again, this is Windows 7 32-bit. It does not work on 64-bit, unfortunately. So what I've done is I'm running this in a, in a virtual machine inside Windows 7 64-bit. So here's the port. OK. And enter. There's our command prompt. So there you go. OK, now after you have run step three in the tutorials, uh, make sure you come back and remove that driver so that it puts in your standard Windows Vista or Windows 7 driver so that you can access it again using Windows Mobile Device Center. And to do that, we're going to go back to the computer, right mouse click, manage. Select your device manager. Go to mobile devices. And we're going to uninstall and make sure you delete the driver. If you don't check the delete driver, it's going to leave the driver on there and try and reinstall it the next time it comes up. So I'm going to say OK. Sorry, I had an update trying to happen. Um, now, as you notice here, it's completely missing because we just uninstalled it. So I'm going to tell Windows to scan for the hardware. This will reinstall it. Now, again, this process you do after you've completed the, um, the WLAN update. And here it will install the driver again on its own. And this will find the normal Windows 7 or Windows Vista driver for you. Let it complete here. Sorry, it's taking a moment. Uh, this is real time.
Okay, once that's done, go ahead and close the window. Close the window and you should be good to go. Now I repeat, don't put the driver back until you've completed updating the WLAN in B file. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching.